assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and having good health today we are going to start the lecture about the super saturated solution as in the previous lesson we have learned about the two forms of the solutions that was saturated and unsaturated and in this lesson we will study about the super saturated solution to prepare a super saturated solution for example we already have a saturated solution you must keep in mind that what is the saturated solution the solution that is having more solute and it is not having the capacity to dissolve more solute now the saturated solution and we started to heat that solution or we just increase the temperature of that solution then more solute will be started to dissolve in it and by increasing the temperature the solute will be started to dissolve in it and upon heating a point come when there is no more solute is going to be dissolved at that point the solution will be called as the super saturated solution as in this picture you can see that we have a saturated solution that is having already more solute in it and it cannot dissolve more solute in it at that point we just increase the temperature or we started to heat that saturated solution now the more solute will be started to get dissolved in it and upon heating a point come when there is no more dissolution of the solute and the solution solute particles again started to settle at the bottom of the beaker at that point the solution will be called as the super saturated solution so usually uh, you uh, when uh, when are going to prepare the super saturated solution by heating then upon heating a point come when there is no dissolution of the solute particles so this is known as the super saturated solution or we can also write its definition the solution that is having more solute as compared to saturated solution when the solution is having more solute as compared to the saturated solution at that point the solution we can call it as the super saturated solutions okay next we have the recrystallization in the solution that how the recrystallization will be started in the solution for example first we were having a saturated solution and we just increase the temperature we started to heat that upon heating it is going to be convert it into the super saturated solution by dissolving more solute in it it will be convert into the super saturated solution at that point it, it is having more solute and the saturated solution is having less solute so you guys have to keep in mind that the saturated solution is having less solute and the super saturated solution is having more solute and when we are going just to decrease the temperature of the super saturated solution or by cooling it then what we is going to be happen now the more solute that is dissolved in the Satur so super saturated solution it will be started to crystallize out it will be started to crystallize out at that point we can call it as the recrystallization in the solution or recrystallization in the super saturated solution as in this picture you can see that it was a solution in which there was more solute particles and we just cool down that on cooling or upon cooling the crystals of the solution started to formed over there so this is the simple recrystallization of the solution if you are having the example for example 
we were having a saturated solution of sodium thiosulfate its formula is Na2S2O3 as at 20 degree celsius it has the amount of salt that was 20.9 gram and when we just increase the temperature upon increasing the temperature now the more solute will be started to dissolve in it and the solution from saturated solution converted into the super saturated solution and when we again decrease the temperature or by cooling down that the solution will be converted into the saturated solution and the crystals of the dissolved solute will be formed in the form of undissolved form so this is the recrystallization process in the solutions or the super saturated solution next we have the how we can distinguish between the three types of solution for example we have three types of solution the number one solution the number two solution and we have the number three solutions in the first solution second and the third solution how we can be able to distinguish between whether which one is the saturated super saturated or unsaturated so if we have the solute particles and we have the beaker a b and c if we dissolve the solute in the beaker a and the solute started to dissolve in it it's mean this solution is unsaturated solution that can dissolve more solute on the other hand in the beaker b we are going to add the solute and the solute particles do not get dissolved in it so this solution is known as the saturated solution as the solution will, is not going to dissolve the solute particles on the other hand in the C beaker if we are going to add the more solute and there is a process of recrystallization in it then this solution will be called as the super saturated solution because the process of recrystallization is going to be happen over there in the saturated solution the simple the solute particles settled at the bottom of the beaker and in unsaturated solution the solute particles get dissolved in it so this is all about the today's lecture and if you guys have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and in the next topic we will study about the solutions of the gases for that time have a good day and i love is